It is finally the day, the last day of May, which means the last day with mermaids every day. That was a lot of days. So I have been doing all the mermaids in May and I've actually kept it up and the only way I've kept it up is because I've been streaming all of it. So all of this has been done on stream and that has been working super well for me because then I can do two or three um, or just like catch up and I haven't posted every single day but I have mermaids for every single day and it's gonna extend the posts into June a little bit with my my Instagram posts because I'm kind of a little bit behind on posting, but through all of my mermaids and then we're gonna do the last mermaids for this month even though I haven't finished like the last five on the list, I am still gonna do this the last one because I'm excited for it and also I think it will be a good video so we're doing it. <laughs> and that is whatever animal you choose and I, my most favorite sea life animal is a whale shark so I'm super excited to put it in here. First off though, I'm always gonna look up references because that's a thing and I also like that you guys like that I show you that I'm looking through references. I thought it was a good thing to show. So, the reason I wanted to do a whale shark is because I, since I met, like since I saw a whale shark at the uh, aquarium in Osaka, I've been wanting to meet one in real life wild swimming around. I want to meet one so badly, by chance, I don't want to like meet them like planned, I want to see one just randomly <laughs> because I love them, I just, I don't know what it is, I, already, I love them so much. I even have this one that I got from that uh, aquarium and I also got this one from my sister who needle felted, this is actually before I started needle felting, so <laughs> I would love more, I also want the giant whale shark plush. I would love that. Pretty much trying to get some oh <laughs> whale shark stickers. Um trying to get some like different angles just to see what they look like. So I know what to do with mine. Alright, I don't really need that many that many of these, but let's just get to it, shall we? I think maybe the reason I love whale sharks is just that they look so cute, but also so cool, and I don't know. Why? Like I don't I don't I don't know what it is. I just met one and I now want to meet more. So that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> also, I'm really inspired by this art. I'm gonna put it here because I'm I'm sure somebody will find it at some point. It's so cute. Go look at this person on Demon Art. I'll put it here. I, I don't remember. Somebody on stream showed me this and I was just like, yes, yes. So I wanted to make like little yeah, this is I'm sort of inspired by that, but also like doing my own thing. Maybe I should do it the other way. Nah, I wanted to do it this way. Maybe I should move her. I think I don't have any more of that. <laughs> you know what, guys? I actually got needed a razor. <laughs> Not that I like it that much, but it works. It works without like ruining my paper, which is very nice. All right. Okay. So I had a lot of fun doing the sketching. And I think I have something that I really like. So you can see this is a whale shark girl and she goes all the way over here. And I'm pretty sure like if I'm going to put it in the art book, it will be cropped like here. But for now, this will work. I don't, I can't really do anything right now. I just have to do what I have. All right. Also, I uh, got a smaller 8B pencil. This is, this is the same pencil as the one that I was using before, but this one is not a jumbo. I had so much trouble with trying to sharpen the other one, so I got a 8B smaller pencil. Um, and at one point, I will probably try and get a mechanical one, but for now, this will work. <laughs> and I have no idea why my watercolor does not smudge when I use this. You guys, like, you have asked me so many times, I have no idea why it doesn't. But yeah, also, to the people who have clicked on this and have no idea what Draw With Me videos are, they're pretty much me just talking and drawing for half an hour, so please draw by yourself, do something creative, wash up something, do dishes, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I'm pretty much background noise, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to be. <laughs> so... Please use me as that. Oh. 
I am going to focus quite a lot when I'm doing like this part, <laughs> the line art. Also, I, um, I just wanted to say guys that if you have been missing my vlogs, I'm actually starting up a new channel where I'm going to do a new channel where I'm going to post vlogs. So it's called Dina Studio Days and you can get all the vlogs there. I just thought that it would be nice to separate the two types of videos like draw with me and vlogs, even though they're similar in a way. I just thought it would be better to, to separate the two. So. And, and you get some more behind the scenes of how I work and since I'm a freelance, completely freelance artist right now doing my own things, not just like client work, then I think it's just very interesting for some people to, to see how I do it. Put in a little fin on the other side here, but I can't really, there's so many fishies. Also, I had to, to look up the these kind of remora fish. I didn't actually know, but they they're really freaky. If you look them up, they pretty much like on the like what you're seeing here is actually the underside of them, and they actually attach with the top of their head, which is freaky to me. I'm sure I would be drawing them wrong, but they're so hard to understand. I, I really don't. I really don't understand how they work. I'm just trying to like get them on <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Such a weird fish. But she's clearly enjoying their company. And then this one. I don't I haven't really figured out how the, um, the, the things on their sides work. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. They're, they're like that. It's like that. I'm sure somebody in the comment section can tell me. <laughs> well, I'll um, I'll make it more obvious with uh, with watercolor, definitely. Probably give her some sort of turquoise background as well. Since we're doing all those backgrounds. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, you can't really see the whole thing. Wait. There we go. That's the that's the, that's the merm. <laughs> I quit I, I love her. <laughs> I love her. I'm just gonna say that. I do need to do some watercolor. And I know like whale sharks are primarily grey. Like they're just grey and white. But I am going to put a little bit of blue in there and of course all the spots and stuff. And pink. Just trying to make them a little bit look her a little bit more interesting than just like 
grey, you know? Alright, we're gonna do the watercolour now. I just have to find all my stuff. So, as you guys know, this is my watercolour set. I don't know if we can actually manage to keep both in frame at the <laughs> today. We can try a little bit, we can try a little bit. Um, let's just get some. And I think I'll probably just do like a bluish grey. We'll just start with a grey. Maybe just a blue? I don't know. It's really hard to decide. <laughs> Alright. I feel like just like if we do just a, a grey, like a Let's just do a blue. Let's just do a blue and then we'll see what we feel like doing because I'm a bit nervous about how to color the gal. So the color goes like around her eyes. Oh, I think I'll add in like spots and stuff later. I just remembered I have something I was supposed to do. It would be easier just to do a wash for all the colors first and then do the spots. I did get some new gouache as well, so it would be easier to do that. I'm just trying to make all those tiny little spots without any... <laughs> without any paint. No, no, it's gonna look messy. I don't quite know what I'm doing, so I'm just like keeping quiet until I know. <laughs> you can't even see me do the tail. There we go. I think we'll just put the whole thing in frame, shall we? There we go. Much better. You don't need to see me mixing blues. <laughs> okay, let's add in some pink, because that's something I wanted to do. Especially since she's like a <clears throat> mermaid, so... We are going to add in darker blue-grays as well, because um, she will need that. Start with some washes. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I'll make it like not just blue but like a little bit purple because it looks then it makes it look a little bit gray for some reason i'm just trying to find my purple magenta all right so i want the darkest to be up here so I really wish I had like the stripes and stuff, but there's so many of them, there's no way I can manage to do that just by getting around them. So we'll just have to do it with gouache. Sadly enough. I do prefer when watercolor pieces are like completely watercolor. Even though I use gouache in the background, I, I like. I like it when you don't try to mix match that watercolor and, and gouache, especially in the same part of the drawing, because it can look really messy, because watercolor just looks different to to gouache. But <laughs> when it comes to spots, I think I'll I think I'll allow it, I'll allow myself the convenience. Well, I'm loving her. <laughs> I like that I make made her more like purple blue than just blue or grey. So I'm liking her a lot. 
I'm, I'm guessing you guys are all tired of me doing more of my own, yeah. <laughs> Time to stop this madness. Oh, I didn't actually explain the uh, design choices. Maybe I should do that. So, for this gal, like, it's, I don't know, it's pretty much the same as I've done for the other um, mermaid designs. I pretty much look at the design. Oh, that's so hard to explain. And I, I look at the things that I like. Like, there's some things that I do the same for all of them, and that is, for example, if they have gills, they, I put them on the side of um, the rib cage, like where the lungs are, because that makes sense anatomically, is that how you say it? So that's one thing I do do for all of them. Except for if there's like a dolphin, then I'll do it differently. Um, and then there's like... The... No, she looks like a mermaid. I like adding the fins on the arms because it makes it look more fin-like. <laughs> it makes it tie it together to the side. So if I just had normal arms here, or just normal face, it would just be a normal mermaid and I didn't want that. So I like when things that are in the fish part are connected to things that are in the human part. And maybe I should have put more things that are just in the fish and like more human stuff into the fish part, but I think I think it works fine. I'm also really happy doing all this stuff in my sketchbook. It's been really fun. Um, and my friend actually gave me, well, one of my uh, patrons actually gave me a new little sketchbook so that I can start that on that one when I finish with this one. Uh, but that one is a new... wait, let me start painting again while I'm talking. Uh, that one is like the newest one, so this one apparently is the older one from what Rin told me. And then there's the 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 new one after New Year's have a different sort of paper, so I'm gonna test that. That's gonna be a video. And uh, I just I'm excited to find have finally found something that I like using. Like I've never found a sketchbook that I liked using. And then I found this one, and I'm just like impressed. Even though people are like, <laughs> it's a thing now that all artists are using this sketchbook. But I don't know, I just really like Illo. I don't, it just happened. <laughs> I can't, can't explain it. It's just like the paper are nice and smooth, but still takes watercolor pretty well. And, uh, just do whatever I want with it <laughs> and also the cover is nice and sturdy so that because I really um, have a tendency to really ruin sketchbooks but the fact that this is so durable really really helps me out so I, I got a few questions on when I was streaming about how I use watercolor and I thought I would mention it here so I pretty much use watercolor with as little water as possible on the paper so now it's like a puddle here, but I pick it up again. And even though it lightens the color, that is pretty much what you're gonna get when it dries. If you just leave a puddle, you don't really know what it's gonna look like when it, once it dries. So I, I paint with s small amounts of water, unless I'm doing a big wash, which pretty much means I do it over the whole paper. But I try to keep it as dry as possible. If that makes any sense. I think it does. Don't leave puddles. Uh, leave pigment. There's a difference. So when you put water into your paint, you are putting water into pigment. If you put too much water into the pigment, you will have to put more water on the paper to get pigment into the paper. But if you have less water and more pigment, you'll have to put less water on the page to get the pigment. And that's how you control how dark and how light the color is on the paper. Am I teaching stuff? <laughs> Am I making sense? <laughs> ah, she's pretty! Okay. What does these thingies look like? They're more us. They're kind of brownish and yellowish. I also just want them to stand out next to 
a whale shark hair. So I just wanted to ask you guys, like I, I am going to do whatever I want on this channel uh, when it comes to art and stuff, but I wanted to know what you guys specifically want to see. I am not going to do tutorials, that is something that is exclusively on Patreon currently, and um, oh, that's something I need to do this week as well, I forgot that. <laughs> but yeah, what is it that you want to see on my channel? I'm going to do a few things that I have planned, but it's always fun to know what people want to see. What they like the most. Draw with me is definitely what the style of video is going to be, but like I want to know what exactly what you want to see me draw. If there's anything specific, this is not really the color that sh they should be, but I don't know. I didn't want to really want to go with brown, <laughs> so we're doing pinkish, pinkish color instead. All right, I think I think she's done. Well, no, she's not done, but you know, like we're closer to done. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm so excited to put on the spots. So what I picked up from the art store when I went there the other day and got the kneaded razor, I also picked up a white gouache, and I think it's designer's gouache Winsor Newton Sink White, and I also picked up a Posca pen. So I tested the Posca pen a little bit the other day here. Um, it kind of depends on what angle it is, but it's it's pretty opaque. So I thought, especially for dots and stuff like we're doing right now, it's really tedious to go with the brush. So I'm gonna try and do it with this. <gasps> Yay! Some of them are like lines, and some of them are spots. So we'll try to do both, I guess. And I think it'll dry like a little bit less opaque, which I don't mind at all. Oh, she's so pretty! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in love with her. Pretty lady. See, this is much better than trying to do this by avoiding different spots in watercolor. Actually. If I had masking fluid, I'd probably use that, but I have like the worst masking fluid of all time. I watched Casey's video about masking fluids and now I'm like, maybe I will actually give it another shot and get some proper fluid. Because <laughs> it's clear that I've been using the one that rips up paper and does, does, doesn't work, so maybe that's something I'll do. But that will probably have worked really well with this, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, she looks so much better with all those like little spots now. That was that's that's what she was missing, you know. I think she's cute. I think she's cute. And then we're gonna add some dark um pen. Where is that? There is. Just to like enforce some of my lines here and there. Ta da! <laughs> I think she's super cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna ask my patrons if they think I should add a background to her. Because right now, I don't think she needs it. So, while I'm waiting for them to reply, I'm going to try and mix this turquoise with some white because I bought some white now. And uh, I'll see if I like it or not. I wonder if it's... I think it's cypress green, actually. I don't think it's turquoise. Well, that is looking really nice, though. Maybe I should do it. I am decided I'm gonna use that color. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Like I'm not, I'm, I, I tried waiting for people's reply, but I am just impatient and I really like that color. So we're gonna do it. Come here. Been a few times 
that I've done this since the first time I did it with the arowana man where I've gone over the lines and I've been like, damn it! <laughs> Just have to live with it. Also, I didn't actually wait for the reply of the <laughs> my patrons. Was one person was like, go with your cat, and I'm like, yeah. And then I think since I mixed that blue color, I was already sold that I was gonna, I was gonna do the blue. It's really weird. I think the white paint kind of, kind of smells like henna. It's kind of really weird. <laughs> that just did a flip across the page and hit the page at one point as well. But it didn't really hit anything important, so it's fine. I did a good decision, I think. I liked it. I don't know. It gives it a bit more detail, or I don't know. Interest? Yeah, it gives it more interest. It's really weird, like, it dries darker and then lighter again. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's something up with this paint. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm going to come back and just clean up some of my mistakes that I, I managed to do while I was adding in the background. Alright, let's just, let's just pretend that that's dry. <laughs> it's dry enough. What? I'm guessing that you guys would like me to do more sketchbook stuff because I think people are just interested in th things that they can actually do in their own books, right? There we go. I think I'm gonna add some more of my Posca pens just above them because I feel like we can add some. Yeah, that works. It actually looks better in person, <laughs> but it worked really well. And I am just going to add some more yellow to these guys because I feel like we can pop it a bit more. All right. Yay, okay, I think I did it. <laughs> Let's zoom out. I think that'll fit her in, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, that way. There we go. I did it! What a shark! I'm so excited! This is technically the last of the mermaid pieces and then I have... Like, I still have to, since this is, I filmed this on Tuesday, I still have a few left that I'm going to do on stream but that will already be over because this video is going to be posted on Friday which is the last day of mermaid and this is what you got and I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the whole mermaid experience I am going to do a art book with all of them and I will announce that on my Instagram and on the YouTube community tab probably in my next video as well just to see like Hey, <laughs> you can go and order it here now. I just need to finish all the pieces before I can collide it together. Maybe I even have pre-orders up at this point so you can see it here, but I don't know. I don't think that will happen. I think it'll happen later next week or the weeks after, at least before the end of June, I'm guessing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed another Draw With Me video. I hope you drew along with me. If you did, please tag Dina Draw With Me uh, on Instagram and I'll go check it out and it'll be really fun. And if you didn't and you just watched the whole thing, I hope you had fun watching me draw for 30 minutes. <laughs> I had a lot of fun as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, just a little side note, if you want to go to my... <laughs> If you go over to my blog channel and follow me there, I am currently doing a lot of sticker stuff because I got a cry cut. So just a little teaser for you guys. I have done a creature card, kind of, well, creature card, creature uh, sticker sheet and a kettle cut sticker sheet and I kind of cut them out and do stuff there. And I might actually do more uh, sticker sheets and actually film the whole process and stuff over at my blog channel that will not be on this channel, just so you guys know. Anyway, they're not for sale yet. They will be for sale after June, I'm guessing. I just don't know how much I can sell yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a little teaser for you guys. I hope you guys had a lovely time listening to me talk about nothing and draw and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!
And as always, I wanted to do a little feature from my Patreon's entries for this month's month's uh, postcard theme, which was Forgotten Gods, and I did an amazing job. And uh, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. These guys are amazing. Please go check them out on their social media handles. And uh, yeah, if you want to go check out my Patreon, you can do that. And I just want to say thank you so much to my Patreons. You are absolutely incredible. 